Hey, hey, welcome back. Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, oh. Oh, hey, guys. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. It's Idiosyncratic, the show oh, where hey, we have two see you there. Intros. Guess what I just did? Had sex, undressed, all her boobies and the rest. Sure, nice of her to let you do that thing. Nice yeah. of any girl ever. Now sing. Just sing. That That's what he did with the really and old lady. So she was good. really old and... I'm, I'm out. I'm that's um that's enough. Got the dry pussy. Yeah, dry that, pussy. That what? bitch was seventy years old. <laughs> Basically, she was, she was sixty-three. You dick. <laughs> no, I wasn't talking about her. I was talking about a you hypothetical girl. Because I you, never call her a bitch. If you want to hear what we're talking about, you need to go listen to the latest episode of SCTG. Actually, it's not latest. I think this mine will be out after y'all's because this I have like two more to put up before this so goes close up. to greatness. You okay, gotta listen to that yeah. one. Mine will be up on Christmas Eve. So close to greatness. So it's, okay, uh, go to church and beg forgiveness big and have ass. a Merry Christmas. It's episode uh, season two, uh, season episode, two 11. episode 11. Yeah, big episode so. today. The finale. This is a finale of all podcasts, dude. Yeah, Robbie, all podcasts. Robbie talks about a crazy story. Uh, excuse me, how I built this with Guy Raz, you have to shut down immediately. Oh, I Wait, like him. Um, hold on. Hello, it's, minimalists. Yeah, it's, you're it's fucking Guy done. Raz. Guy Raz. Wait, is it's he NPR. Uh, how I yeah. built this? I, <laughs> how I built this? <laughs> no? He just keep, I just, said, uh, I, I I just would, said that. He literally oh. just said it. Right? Would, how, hey, you're like me. How much of that 42 ounces have you had? 43. Hey. Holy shit. Done man. <laughs> done man. Hey, done man. Done right. man. Uh, bad, hey, guys, we're already drunk. <clears throat> I'm not. Sorry. I'm drunk already. Uh, welcome to the video oh, version. Oh, you want us to let you know when you're slurring. It, you kind of are now. Am I really? A little bit. Some bit. Hey, we're welcome. <laughs> we're at the, Some bit like the, the video version. <laughs> Bala! Hey, Some guys. Like loud, welcome, welcome to the video version. If you want to hear me get drunk, go to the audio version. Uh, where this, we we talk about other shit too. It's a process. We add stuff. It's to procedural, it. but um, <laughs> process. I'm, I'm your drama. I'm your host today, even though I'm drunk already. But oh, hey, boy, you know what, dumb math. If you can't tell, I'm a fan of Chris D'Elia. He's the one who says dumb math, but now I say dumb math because part of my zeitgeist now. And we kind so of D'Elia. we kind of all hope that at some point Alex will impact popular culture as Chris D'Elia has. Oh my God, me hope that too. <laughs> <laughs> Me All right, you. so today we're talking about <laughs> killing the game. Almost. Almost. What? Mer- I don't know. We, that, we never guessed that part. Sometimes you just got to slight, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about blank smash blank. And I was super like, if you don't smash, get that, bro, super super so brothers, stupid. Yeah. Everybody got it already. So easy. So easy. And uh, this this guy's talking about, holy shit. But it's got to be up there because you have to see the, the spelling. The Avengers 4. Okay, yeah. Well, here. Because it all, it's all holy encompassing. Shit. It's the holy shit. Yep. <laughs> It's, holy it's, shit, boy! There it is. There you go. go holy shit! Bobby. I'm so ah oh god! I can't wait to talk about that. I don't want to go first though. I don't want to go can't first. Wait. I've got to. I've gone first like every other time I've been on the show. <laughs> have you really? I don't want to do it. Well, this guess time. what, Robbie? Eat a dick. <laughs> Eat a dick, you idiot. You go. <laughs> just kidding. I wouldn't do that to you. Oh, no, thank oh. you. I appreciate that. It, it was, was a, a funny troll. Would it, it would have been a funny troll, huh? You know me. I'm for the next troll. I'm second guessing myself. <laughs> So While I'm trolling, I'm looking for the next one. Just don't stop. All right, you know what? My chest is starting to hurt. From hey, you're that. the only one that we don't know yeah. what it is. Yeah, I want to know yours. That leads me to want to know what it is. Oh, do you? If so facto, you're going first, my man. Uh, all right, boys. Okay. The boys is! Whatever my thing was, here's what it's about. Uh, uh, killing oh, it, killing kill, the game. Killing the game. Almost. Almost. All right. Today, I'm talking about Rodney Alcala. Has you boys has ever done heard of him before? No. Okay. The Menzes have never not done, even, not even. done listen to that name. This guy right here, he'd be a serial killer. And classic. I'm going to get right into why I chose that specific teaser. Why sure. would you kill cereal? It. It's, so, it's so delicious. It's just good. Like, it's all around good. I kill it by him. eating it. So his name is Rodney James Alcala. You're a serial killer. I am a serial killer. And he's a convicted rapist and serial killer. Oh, shit. Is he convicted? Uh... This creepy bitch is still alive, too. What? Yeah, the creepy bitch is 75 years old. And he's he's uh, housed in... Uh, wait, where is he at? You haven't pickaxed him? I try to look for... Oh, he's in uh, California State Prison. Go find him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, so this guy... He, okay, here's... Yeah. He has somewhere between 8 and 130 victims. That is what? a huge... That's a fucking leap. Number. So it's what a, that means is... a huge gap. That means 8 confirmed, 
potentially 130 victims because of so how. So there are 122 he could poss- that we could possibly never link him there, to. Yeah, there are some that like potentially could be him because of like the area that he was in at the time, like the uh, like the slashing methods or whatever. You know, not what I mean? to say sale f- never. But you know what? <laughs> you know what sucks about that though. You know what sucks never about that is that that means that means that either. He's killed up to 130 people, or there are people out them who are mimicking him, so they never get caught. Maybe, yeah. Just that's say, that's yep. terrifying. It's, it's very scary. Yeah. So he is uh, he's he's pretty prolific. Apparently, he's uh, his victims range from like like teenage boys to like just regular you know boys adult women basically. Oh. No, no, like it's like it's the, so the swath not, is very wide. For so this he's guy. not like like. Gacy or Bundy, who who only but the hair part, on, like no, no, he doesn't like, have a specific on, demographic. He just on went young men. for anybody essentially that he could lure into his like killing zone and just take out, basically. Spiderweb, uh, yeah, kind of. So if you will, I'm trying. Like uh, I was looking at a few things. Like uh, there, there have been some things that he's been tied to, like some uh, potentially like famous cases. Like uh, there's one person. Uh, so he was like arrested for something. Um, he was out and you know, like if you're a convicted felon, essentially like you're on the no fly list, like you can't fly anywhere, so on and so forth. There was somebody, he has to walk. There was somebody that, that apparently gave him the okay to fly after he was a convicted felon. So what he did was he flew to New York and then immediately uh, within that week that he'd been there, he had murdered the goddaughter of Dean Martin and Sammy Davis Jr. Yeah. So this guy, like, you can't, you can't stop him. Essentially, you give him an out. You give him a way to get somewhere around other people, and he's he's basically going to murder him. Did he know? Not that it matters. Did he know it was the goddaughter, or did I it just it. happen to be? He probably just happened upon her. That's, um, that's coincidence. That's bad fucking luck. So multiple years uh, of him being active as a serial killer, uh, he convinced hundreds of young men and women that it was his profession uh, as a f- uh, fashion photographer. So what he would have is like he and he worked at I think where, where do you work at the L.A. Times They're or like the New York killers. Times or something like that and he was like a like a typesetter and he would bring like his photos to work and show people and he'd be like well I'm a fashion photographer and they're like naked boys and like naked girls and weird shit like that there's no fashion in here yeah, yeah but people would be like oh I guess that's fashion like, like nobody batted an eye at it or be, or kind of like that that's yeah some yeah bullshit so the reason why I say killing the game I feel sick almost. almost is because he was on a game show. No! Can you see? It was, it, did that just say it was chosen as the winner? Yo, brightness. Thank you. No, dude! The dating game. God, do you remember back he's, in the early days? He's number like, one. This is him right here. Here they are. Look at this creepy bitch. You gotta love the 70s. Yeah, this, the aesthetic. Host. Okay, hang on. Successful photographer. When his father found him in the dark room at the age of 13, fully developed. <laughs> Between takes, he might find him skydiving or motorcycling. Please welcome Rodney Alcala. Rod, welcome. That's a serial killer smile. Like a killer. That's a serial killer looks smile, like dude. Looks like a fucking killer. Also, talk about a total. Where is she? She's coming out. She is. Talk about a total battle axe of a woman. Am I right? <laughs> Wait, I mean the dress doesn't do her any favors, but it was the '70s or '60s, maybe I don't know. Those gigantic ass gums. She has a nice teeth to gum ratio. Uh, Better than Gina Davis. It looks like she has more gum than teeth. All right, uh, listen to this shrill voice too. Oh yeah, I knew that. <laughs> Their name, age, occupation, or income, okay? And we're going to start by having them say hello to you and see how... Okay, I have a huge share! Shh! Say hello to Cheryl, please. We're going to have a great time together, Cheryl. It's a serial killer talking oh to her, God, dude. Oh my God, that was fucking... Jeez. Bachelor number... Oh, she's that's acting. Same. That's not her real voice. No wonder, that's she, acting. no wonder someone wanted to kill her. Bachelor number one... The best Anyone time is at night. Nighttime. <laughs> Why do you say that? Because that's the only time. What? Is. What? The only time. What's wrong with uh, morning, afternoon? Well, they're okay, but night times when it really gets good, then you're really ready. I'm a drama teacher, and I'm going to audition each of you for my private. Okay. Class. Oh no. That's just the bad. That's before teachers rape. Ha- hashtag. Sure. Hashtag fucking. <laughs> 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 oh, come on. Oh. 
over here. That's a serial killer moan. Dude, you know what? You know, it's in, so creepy, isn't in it? In his mind, in his mind, he's, because the audience is laughing. Yep. He's eating that up because they don't know. Yep. So and by, he, was, he was chosen as the winner, is what that said, yes. right? Yes, so by this point, by this point, he had been, he's already a prolific serial killer. So he has had multiple victims, and he wins. <clears throat> she chooses him at the end. He wins, okay? And what happens is, because he is so weird and just like off-putting, she, she declines him. She, she talks to the producers, and she's like, oh, this guy gives me the creeps. I don't want to go on a date with him. So what he does is that night he goes out and kills three people because he was turned down by her. That night? That night. No! <laughs> yeah. What? Yep. Oh my God. Yeah. Case went for the team and be the only one murdered. Yeah. See, that's what I've been saying. I'm kidding. I don't mean that's that. That's what I've been saying. I really don't mean that that's at all. <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a horribly tasteless Confirmed. joke. Confirmed. Confirmed. But that's, I mean... He gets oh shit, dude. Yeah. That's ha- that's harsh. It's that's crazy. rough, bro. It's crazy. So when I say killing the game, almost, S- almost, he almost got her. He almost got her. She turned him down. That's okay. Oh, that's her. that's a clever yeah. way to phrase it. Yeah, but oh, it's, I can't game. believe. Oh, I, I see now. But you know what that means, though. Huh. You know what that means is that like there's you can listen to somebody talk, you can uh, hear their answers to your questions, but until you actually meet them, you'll never know. Oh yeah. It's then smart on her. Dude. Smart on her. It is intense. But his his face, man, is like, oh, because night is when it gets good. Like he like he knows. Mm-hmm. And the audience is just like, oh, you oh, silly you monkey. Sly little thing. Like, that's no, that's fucked yeah, up. Yeah, he's saying night is the only time it exists because that's when he kills, basically. Like this guy is like No, she she laughed it off like kind of like, ha, ah, what the fuck? No, <laughs> but, but, but the audience, did you hear the audience? Yeah. They they like roared yeah, on yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah. Because uh, so dumb. They thought he was him. talking about sex. He was talking about Merkin. He just shook hands with the hand that probably held the knife. And he's probably back there. He's like, hey, let me smell your throat real quick. Oh, no. Let me smell your throat. So crazy, huh? God, that's fucked up, dude. Yep. There she goes. She walked off stage with a serial Did you, killer. Okay, so on the topic of serial killers, this killer. is when uh, I, I want to say... <laughs> I want to say Bundy. Mm-hmm. I can't remember, but he like had a thing for like Filipino men. He would always go to gay clubs. Oh, that was uh, Dahmer. Dahmer. You're talking about you. Bruno. Thank you. No, well, <laughs> also yes, but also yeah. no. No. So Dahmer, like, he had this kid, and he had them. He had him as in his apartment. He drugged him. The kid escaped. Mm-hmm. Ran to the cops. There were two cops sitting there, mm-hmm. and Dahmer just came up, and it was it was the standard like white guy versus person of, of ethnicity and color. And he's like, and sorry. That's, and, and he goes, he, he tries goes, to kill me. He's like, he tries to fuck on me. He's trying, he's trying to fuck on me. But he's Dahmer like, sorry, was just that's like, my gay boy lover. That's I'm sorry. my boyfriend. I'm sorry. He's had a little too much to drink. And the, uh, the cops were just like, oh, no problem. Yeah. Like, Here, hey, like, like ha. let us help you get him back to your apartment, yep. basically. Yeah. Like, hey, and then he just, he slaughtered thin, the poor dude. line. Yep. That's it's, not a thing yet, but then blue line. Then blue line, yeah. <laughs> but, they, but the thin blue line, though. Yeah, it's it's terrifying, like, how... Because, like, you know, most serial killers like this, like, they're, they're psychopaths, so they're, like, extremely charismatic. And the only reason that they're charismatic is because they people watch. Like, they yeah. don't know how to that's what's exhibit insane. the emotion. That's what's insane. They just not mimic the emotion. Yeah. And then they, like, you know, they take the emotion from, like, like the best at it, you know, people who are actually charismatic and they just mimic it and then they just run with it. And was, it, it doesn't help if they're like good looking people like Ted Bundy. Right. You know what I mean? Because then they can just lure anybody in. Hey, right. You Even know, that you know dude, like, scary? Back, yeah, what's up? Um, so I think we've all encountered people that could have been serial killers. Oh, Possibly. yeah. For sure. I think yeah, for there's sure. like some weird stat that ev- like, yeah. In your lifetime, you you cross paths with at least seven potential uh, serial killers. Jesus. See, see there's, there's yeah. this thing about people that who are serial killers that like you're saying like he has this weird uh charisma Vibe, yeah. he has this weird <clears throat> charisma that is like okay so knowing that he is a serial killer we can say like wow that's so plastic right mm-hmm. but had we had we just met him on the subway or some shit i don't know why subway. had you showed me that without knowing that's who he was yeah. i would have been like that's he's just a creepy You'd be dude like, mm-hmm. i know i'd probably be like man that guy's a stud like he's just like <laughs> he's, just, he's just going for it you yeah. know what i'm saying he's just yeah. going for it but like knowing that he's a serial killer, you can see like, wow, there's like a certain like emptiness to yeah. what he's saying. Sure, and it's like he's just saying things to sound normal, um, sexy, yeah, like I don't yeah, know, yeah, like normal. trusted to, to sound charismatic. I guess like you're saying, like he he's seen people who are charismatic, and he has 
assimilated that into his trap. Yeah. I was I was talking to somebody the other day about um, she was talking about her ex husband and how he was a complete and total narcissist, and he would never show emotion because that's what a normal human being would feel. He did it because that was what you know the was other expected. person. Yeah, it was what it was expected. What the other person wanted to see. So narcissists and sociopaths make the perfect psychopaths because they can mimic what a human is supposed to do but they mm-hmm. can act in a completely inhuman way oh yeah for sure and it's 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 disturbing what's like the Wait, there's like a statistic too it's like I, uh like 40 percent of uh oh, it might not be that high but eh, roughly around like, there are you talking um, about like CEOs, ceos yeah are, are represent psychopathic behavior yeah 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 have either of you seen seven deadly sins the mm-hmm. anime no okay so there's one character who is basically a sociopath mm-hmm. but um you find out later that he kind of had his memories erased, but he's uh, basically like a shell. Like you don't even know if he's like a, actually a person or <clears throat> if he has a soul or anything like mm-hmm. that. But he's always like, uh, I don't understand why you're angry right now, and he's always trying to be like, like, is this the time when I'm supposed to smile? Like that really, kinda, like that kind of like thing? Dexter, yeah. basically, yeah. And it is kind of crazy. Ah. <clears throat> Psychopaths and sociopaths and narcissists are fucking weird. Yes, like by definition, they're weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, <laughs> so yeah, like weird by definition, but also they're just fuck. Like, can you can you, like because when you're sad, right, or when you're sad for somebody else, you like feel them. Yeah, you know those people. They're so stone cold that they're just like, am I? Sp- I'm I'm supposed to. Cr- <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> like everybody else is crying right now. Man. I, feel, I, feel, crying. I feel I feel sad. And yeah. then, but they can do it though. Like they, if they can cry on command, actually, because that's actually, what people are supposed to, to be do. honest. This is what they're like. <laughs> they're like, I know it's supposed to be sad, mm-hmm. but it's just, it's just it's, comedic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I, like yeah. I mean, yeah. They don't get it. They, they, they have the, they physically don't have the capability of understanding what an emotion is. I think the true nature of a sociopath, a narcissist, and a psychopath. Walk into a is bar. That <laughs> I'm out. I'm done. I'm out. That was it. So, and that's some crazy shit. That like, was it. Yeah, I read about that the other day, and I was like, N- uh, "What? What?" That's I was like, "He's on like, a dude. game show." I don't even know how you find this shit, Justin. Dude. I think there, there's another. I think it was, it was either Bundy or Dahmer that did this, the same thing. I don't think they got chosen to win though, but they were on a game show. Really? Yeah. Ugh. I was like, but what Bundy is the vetting Dahmer process for that shit? I'm but, sure looser back in the '70s, but like, come on. Yeah, I, dude. Well, okay, so he, like, he would go around the country changing his name to like enroll in different schools and stuff and like oh, uh, go wait, get different schools? jobs. Yeah. Like he'd roll, like he would enroll in this college and or he'd go to this oh, job. Okay. Yeah. Like, and like, you know, back then you yeah. could, you could say, Hey, my name is John Berger. And they'd be like, all right, well here's cool. hey, name you're, here. You're, and you're good you're to go. Right. Yeah. What's your social? I don't know. Okay. Well, anyways, you're accepted. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I don't know. There's no, like, there is no, there was no vetting process back then. It was just like, who are you? This is who I am. Okay, cool. Welcome. You know, so he like back in the day. That's why it was so easy for Ted Bundy to get around and kill like I don't know sixty people or however many people. I can't he even killed. remember, dude. It, like that's why it was so you easy. Mean sling blade. It could because like all they had to do was just like change their name, yeah, and or like just go to a different state, a you different know, city. You know what the just, most serial killer tendency is of all time: putting on chapstick too many times. You know what? I've been First saying that off, for this is time. my second time, that's, and my lips are chapped as fuck. So too many times. The number two. You guys are both ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have any final thoughts on Rodney Alcala, who is still alive again, by the way? Yeah. So where, scary. where is he? He is in, uh, is he in prison? California State Prison. Yeah. For him. life, right? I'm never yeah. going to California. All you gotta do is go find ever him. Ever again. Ever. All, you gotta, all you gotta do is find him. Just go find him. That's where he is. <laughs> oh, yeah. Actually, he, he actually, looks completely different now, too. This is how he looks now. I do have Oh, yeah. Stuff. So he has a cereal stash. He looks okay. <laughs> the exact same. Cereal stash. No, Did but, you say um, he looks the exact same? Because no, he does not. This, this is my probably <laughs> this is my probably intoxicated <laughs> sentiments. But every time I see like a serial killer doing their thing, like that kind of shit, like uh-huh. fucking f- like this is real video footage of what later would become a mass murderer. I just think to myself, like, dude, any fucking alpha male would beat the shit out of that fucking guy. You know oh yeah, I mean? yeah. Like, if, if they're around him, if he wasn't such a like in the shadows like type dude, you know what I mean? Like how how many deaths could have been avoided? Yeah, they're not ever like big scary no. guys. They're always like this this like sly sneaky but they, snakes. But know? they they know that, and that's why they act so cowardly with like the night yeah. or the apartment or you know, a dark patch of the woods or something like. They know that. Yeah. yeah, it just drives me nuts. Like because like of the hypothetical thing, and I don't know if this is a drunk me talking, but I'm like, dude, 
any fucking like Brazilian jiu jitsu enthusiast who was like, hey, this guy's fucking weird, would like fucking murk this fool. Let me just go ahead and choke him real quick. <laughs> just from, gotta, gotta, hey, gotta and that feels good. Hey, feeling. Let me choke that person. Yeah. Cho- Let me choke, choke that person. <laughs> choke him to death. Wait, whoa, then, bro, 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 yeah, yeah. bro, bro, If you choke him to death, you save between eight and one hundred and thirty-seven million people. <laughs> hey, I'll give you that. That's true, good ass that's math. A true, that's a true stat, Some right good there. Good ass math. Any any final you know thoughts me? on this guy? That's Robbie, my, that's my final thought. Just uh, an what outstanding piece of shit. Mm-hmm. Oh wow. Mm-hmm. I like it. Good job at being a piece of shit. There you go. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Like, oh. yeah, I don't think that was the right word I wanted to use. Was the first word that came. No, no, no. To mind. It's okay. Um, uh, let's say. We mean uh, what you say. Uh, we'll, we'll say uh, uh, thoughtful, terrible person. You know, like we'll, we'll say um, no uh, selfless, self-centered human no, being. No, how about what? how about just a raging what? piece of shit? But where's the good part, though? No, there is no good part. Ah, He's he'll hey. he'll rot in hell and. I, I, I hope he has good hair. To him. I guess it doesn't he matter. Did. Okay. I guess it, it, it all moved to his upper lip, and that's not a good look on anybody. <laughs> okay. I guess <laughs> done guess We're gonna pull up. Done We're gonna pull out. Okay. We're gonna pull up and pull uh, out. Okay. All right. And we're gonna go to Sir Robert Franklin. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I knew that was your middle name. I don't think that's how. The, I what? knew it was your middle name. All right. So uh, you guys know. Everybody knows. Even the people that. Don't, they don't that, know. That watch the show. Who the ones that, only even s- the ones that don't know what? Know. Yeah. So the MCU. It's just my favorite series of films. I fell asleep to Age of Ultron last night because I just fucking so I gay. can't get away from those films. It was James Spader's voice, wasn't it? God, it is. It's it's like a robotic lullaby, and I can't get I can't get enough of that. It's me, James Spader. Um, no, wait, no. It's pretty close. So it's pretty good. You know last like week. Better? Uh, like after weeks of speculation, there was the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. There was a Friday me, after Thanksgiving. <laughs> there, no, shut up. Sorry. <laughs> there was speculation that it, the the title of it was in game. There was speculation of annihilation. There was speculation of divide and conquer, which actually kind of would have been a cool name. Yes, but I I'd heard in game uh, like right after Avengers Infinity War came out. I did too, and it was somebody who like put it on his resume, like mm. some cinematographer or uh, or something like that. And you know, I'm I'm kind of bummed that it was in game because they denied it tooth and nail, tooth and nail, and they were just like, no, that's not the that's not the name. Yeah. And then all the other titles were floating around. And then you know, you sit through like a two and a half minute trailer, and then you get to Avengers End Game, you're like, I'm not even mad. Like the, the movie looks yeah. fucking good. I'm I'm okay with it. Okay, Endgame. can can we take a second to Actually, watch it? As a host, I'm gonna go ahead and take a second. We're gonna watch the trailer. Yes, please. I I can. I will fucking see you in a second. Please. Stop snapping, you fucking chode. (laughs) All right, so. (laughs) You stupid bitch. You guys are idiots. So. (laughs) Say your opinions. Okay. Opinions. So, first off, Infinity War, we talked about this on So Close to Greatness, how just it's. A logistical nightmare to make a film like that work. Oh, and the fact dude, that they it's did insane. it, the fact that they made that movie as good as they did is crazy. And we knew there was a second part coming. Yeah. They did a really uh, good so job dumb. in this trailer not giving away anything. Hey, here's one thing I'll give. That's why I'm okay with it. Uh, okay, so uh, let me preface this by saying I love the MCU. It's it might it's my favorite film achievement in modern history. Um and I love the trailers because they give nothing away. They're so good at trailers, they give nothing away, nothing important. Yeah, the, they, the trailers are teasers. They really are. Yeah, and they're, they, they're, they're extended, te- they're they're, extended teasers. Even though, like, the, they're trailers. <laughs> they'll, they'll show, like, they'll show enough, dude. Like, they'll show, like, some crazy, like, uh, okay, so for Civil War, like, they showed the airport scene, they cut Spider Man out of it. Like, they know exactly they cut, what to show. They edited Tony Stark out of the uh, the the conference uh, clips in the trailer, so you didn't know he had a bit as big a part as he did in Civil War. Oh. If you go back and watch the trailers, yeah. Tony Stark's not there. That's pretty cool. And see, that's that's super cool. Like then, they know they know what they're doing. They know how to hype it up. For like, I think it was during the Super Bowl they put uh, Spider Man in the trailer, and it was just like the Hey everyone. Yeah, yeah, I know? remember that. So they finally did that. Yeah. But, I'm actually have, British. See, here's. <laughs> Here, the thing with this is that they show you Tony, they show you Hello? Nebula, they show you Widow, Cap, and Thor. They never show you, and they show you Banner. They never show you Rocket. They never show you War Machine. Arguably, like two like B Squad Avengers. But you know, like their the impact to them is much greater. Like, and you know, like whatever you're going to see in the movie that wasn't in the trailer is going to blow your right, mind. Right, right, right. But 
what they what you always want to do with a trailer like this for a movie as anticipated as this is you want to end on something that doesn't give something away but does give something away and that is at the end of ant-man and wasp when he's stuck in the quantum realm during the snap how did how did scott lang get out who rescued him how does how does he wind up at the like that is that's like someone would see that and think like man so paul what rudd just shows up at the avengers compound yeah. like whatever but to anybody that really knows the MCU, like it. that is that's huge. Yeah. Because that was one of the first things I saw online after the trailer. It was like, how the fuck does Scott Lang get out of the quantum realm? Because well, hey, who rescues yeah, him? Yeah, here's another like. Okay, I, go ahead. Sorry. Oh, good. Okay, my, uh, my takeaway from that was that um, I agree that that's, that's fucking relevant. Because obviously, when last we left our, our uh, when <clears throat> la- uh, last time on so Dragon was, Ball Z, yeah. Scott Lang's trapped in the quantum realm. Quantum. <laughs> I can't even say. No more 42 ounces for you. I know, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Keep going. It doesn't matter, man. Keep going. Keep with those 40s, dude. <laughs> but, but, but yeah, but yeah, that's relevant. And I lost my thought. <laughs> it's relevant. I think. Oh, wait, okay. here's what yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. Um, like a meta thing is, uh, for me was like, so this trailer dropped and then I heard from somebody at work, they were like, yeah, the Spider-Man trailer is supposed to drop next week. And I was like, no. Um, how? Like, because like they have to address however Spider Man well, comes yeah. back, okay, or so it's like the, a. The great thing about this is that I we remember. know. So how we know that Black Panther, Doctor Strange, Spider Man, uh, Quill, my boy Quill. Drax, oh, my boy Drax. <clears throat> we know we know they're coming back. They are confirmed for the sequel. Well, well, confirmed, so, so Des- obviously. But- despite despite being confirmed, Marvel is still playing the long con. Yeah, and they they have said that to like do. oh you know every everyone's everyone's dead, which you know they might they're dead. They are dead. Yeah, they, they are. Just by by them saying they're dead, In this doesn't, current space it doesn't and time. mean they're never coming back. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That was the point that I forgot, which was <laughs> um, my like knee jerk reaction when watching that trailer was. Uh, Oh hey, it's uh, a Spider Man. Yeah, because um, like a lot. A lot okay, after Avengers, whatever the fucking you know the Thanos one. Infinity War. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How yeah. dare? How fucking dare you? By the way. Hey, come at me, bro. Thanos in the city. That's what it's you, called. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thanos in the city. No, but uh, like a lot of people made a j- big ginormous deal. Like, oh, the, uh, the only people alive are the originals. Which is true. Yeah. Yeah, but. I mean, obviously, it was like well, a, a here's, hint. So here's to so here here's here's my theory. Um, the Sad only piece. ones, the only ones left are are the original Avengers, and yeah. they did and then, that at a time when James Gunn still had his job, and the Guardians were supposed to be the first film of 2020, which is no longer happening. Uh, but they still will hopefully be a part of the MCU if they can find a director that the cast respects enough. So hope That's, so. So hope so. But. So what it is to me is the original Avengers with the help of War Machine, Rocket, Nebula, and Scott Lang have to finish what they started. Because Tony Stark has said a couple of times, he said in Infinity War, this is it. This is like this is the end of the path that I started this on. Mm. And that to me is the Avengers. I mean, even even Scarlet Witch is gone, who's been since who's been in the, the universe since Civil War. Mm-hmm. Um no, since Ultron, right? Ultron, yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're right. I sh- <laughs> MCU, I should have fucking oh, known that. That's I'm what the I king meant. of the MCU now. Uh, no, oh, oh, I, I, I've fucking, got the title I now. Fucking bitch. dare you? Uh, I just did. Uh, how dare you? Everyone, I just everyone's did, allowed baby. a slip of the tongue. It's okay. Shut the fuck up. How dare oh, you not that know everything? Right. <laughs> so what it is like? Even, yeah. even the ones that have been there and have so, yeah. been uh, a huge part. Even like Sam Wilson, even even dusted. One funny thing too is like uh, you know we're watching Sesame Street with Orion right yeah. now, and he was on like the latest episode. Anthony like, Mackie. Yeah, I was like, oh my, it's my, my boy, right boy. There. he's I, alive. He got tested. Robbie so, lied to me. We, <laughs> so we have the original core Avengers that are that have to finish what they started. Now I like for rescuing Tony. There are two things, and one is pretty much in the dialogue. Pepper Potts will don an Iron Man suit and become Rescue. She does that in the comic. She becomes what? a hero named Rescue. It's a promise, though? With zero, with, I didn't uh, even know that shit. with zero chance of Rescue 
is basically what he says. So they're kind of painting that picture. Number two is Captain Marvel, which debuts less than two months before this one. Mm -hmm. She is the most powerful character in the MCU. Yeah. So, so okay. she could <laughs> save him. Number three is there is a storyline in the comics where Thanos and the Avengers team up to, to stop a greater threat. Thanos has the space stone. He can go anywhere at any time. I love mm -hmm. how he's making Thanos Mexican. <laughs> I don't, how, did I, how did I do that? Thanos way. Thanos way. I did not say that. It, Thanos, I shut the fuck from up. From now on, he's Thanos way. Thanos. So Thanos way could, uh, <laughs> could, boy right could there. potentially save Tony. Thanos would be in great. his glove, which, yeah. would, which would be weird. I love how I, they did the, the whole like scarecrow, like, uh, you know, thing, like him walking through the, the wheat field you know, they or had, whatever. They had his armor as a scarecrow at the end of Infinity War. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we talked about yeah. that. It's a treat for the, for the, comic, fans. the comic fans because there is a panel that that was him there is a, <laughs> there is a panel that shows that and for them to do that so prominently in this is just kind of like it's exactly fan where service. it left off yeah, yeah oh fan yeah, service, yeah, yeah you yeah, know yeah. like well this i mean is, this, it's, no, it's, it's a continuation part, it's part one and part two yeah. essentially well yeah. they say that but i mean you know we've talked about this the yeah. idea of a protagonist the idea of a beginning middle and end for a movie infinity war was a standalone film which still blew the shit out of my mind yes sir because it's a great point right it really like, it's is a legitimate yeah. when, point when sam read like the the definition of, of a protagonist i was like that's not even close to what it's supposed to be right but, oh, but, oh. but it, it makes sense and that's Damn why you marry him and webster that's why telling the story of infinity war from thanos's point of view Thanos way makes it work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes. I know we're way past this, and who gives a care now? But um, did, so way past it. Okay, did Ant Man get dusted? He didn't, right? Who? It didn't show him get dusted. Who? Scott Lang. Goddamn. No, he was stuck <laughs> in the quantum room. That's what I'm saying, right? So, uh, you said Ant Man. It sounded like Iron Man, <laughs> but you're also Lang, slurring. I'm slurring. He's slurring. Bro. It's a slur. Oh man. You're just slurring. <laughs> oh, he goes Scott Lang. Goddamn. God damn. <laughs> Robbie. God. Fuck me, right? Okay, so uh, so he, he didn't get, he didn't get dusted because he was too small. No, actually, the uh, so that's why he's gonna the director gonna back, <laughs> when he when he goes back. The directors and writers, the directors, and writers, the directors and writers said that being stuck in the corner room was a stroke of luck for him. If he was outside, he would have dusted. Ooh. There you go. He was it was it was stroke of luck. That's what I was, when you, that's you know, what when I was you, thinking. When you think of fifty percent, his protected. You would like to think that like half the like audience would two stay. Chance. Sure, yeah, it is. Yeah, but if he killed fifty percent like of two bacterium. Out of four. Then you got no probiotics. You yeah. can't digest your foods. So what's gonna happen now, Scott Lang? Goddamn. <laughs> so I, I'm first off. I'm the, when I saw this trailer, it was like Christmas Day for me, uh, and I, I would consider myself like really, really into it too. But I can only imagine how excited you were, dude. For I, first off, <gasps> Tony, Tony's monologue to Pepper Potts is oh great. God. It's it's a complete Riveting. total 180 from where he started <clears throat> ten years ago. Definitely Riverdale. Uh, yeah. And fucking Playboy. Seeing, uh, honestly, I'm excited for the Nebula Iron Man team up when she puts his hand on his shoulder in, the, in that one brief clip when they say we've lost family, we've lost friends, <clears throat> and you just see her blue hand kind of like, like I understand. Get that blue ass hand out of here. Can I, can under, I be honest and say that I, I could give two shits about Nebula? God, fuck <laughs> it. What? Why? She's fantastic. Ever since God, Volume, I don't care. She did not have <laughs> she didn't have a big enough role in Infinity War, and ever since Guardians Volume Two, I've wanted to see her more hey, prevalent in the universe. Done, ma. She has no hair. Ew, who's <laughs> yeah, idiot. At that point, she's also mostly cyborg. What's your point? Also, you know what? Mostly cyborg. cyborg. You know what? She's mostly fucking Jumanji. How about that? She was, she was great, great in that, that movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, for sure. But yeah, I'm excited for that team up. I'm excited to see what. The, like, because I mean, Okoye survived, Shuri survived, Mbaku survived, a lot of people in uh, okay, Wakanda fine. survived. Good. I want to see all of like it. How are they putting back together the pieces of this puzzle? Yeah. But how many rhinos dusted? Probably half. a few. Half, yeah. Half. Um, That's three out of six. It's also four out of eight. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> it's math, man. It's math. So you you have all the math. math. You have you have the aftermath of Infinity War and the aftermath, and now <laughs> they're finally giving us a glimpse of the world they're left with. And I'm God, I'm I'm dying. Dude. How do we like, pick I up already the pieces? Want more. I already want more. I need more. Succumb, where do sure. we go from here? Yeah, where uh, like legitimately, where do they go though? Yeah, like they have set this thing. Where up do you? Where do you so, go, my lovely? You know the like. 
I've never seen Thanos like this big of pop culture either. Like, you know, no. Thanos is he was introduced like in the seventies, I think, sixties. Yeah, something like that. Long you, ass I think time you ago. Mean Thanos. Thanos way. Thanos way. But like, na- like you know, like I'll see tweets, like some really, really damn good tweets. Like, uh, my favorite one was your mom was so fat. Thanos had a snap twice. Yeah. Like, <laughs> hey, you and, know and what? You know, and that's that's a testament to the Marvel Studios because they yes, just they, they make things so pertinent. They make pop culture. Yes, they hey, do. In God of War. There was a Infinity Wars reference. Are you serious? There, there is a so serious. I think I heard yeah. about that. There's a basically Infinity a gaunt, Gauntlet, a gauntlet yeah. Infinity Gauntlet, basically. But so it, it's kind of like you have these like runes, uh-huh. and then there's this one that's like kind of weak, but it has Infinity like, runes. It has more slots than other ones, and if you put the right uh, stones in there, I guess stones, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, then it makes it like it, pow- it, it powers it up, right? And then you could do like some like fucking crazy shit with it. Oh, so um, I don't know. I guess final thoughts on the trailer, you guys. Um, I love again. Like I will always, always give credit to Marvel for just doing trailers the right way because DC. The exact opposite. They do them the wrong way. Dude, Batman vs. Sa- Superman, they, they showed you Doomsday. They showed Doomsday. Why would you do that? I- immediately, you know, like, oh, shit. Well, now they have to team up. Stupid bitch. Yeah. Like, that was the part. Like, oh, you didn't have to. Sh- God. Uh, but, like, when it came, when it came to. Shit in the choir, dude, I'm bro. really good. But when it came to uh, 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 Suicide Squad, that first trailer, brilliant. Yeah. Amazing yes, you're, trailer. You're not wrong. Amazing. The and, second trailer. And then it's like, well. Thanks for showing everything, everything. again, yeah. you idiots. You, oh, you idiots. Dude, even the clip nah. of Batman riding on top of the car, I was like, I didn't need to know he was in the film. Yeah, and then when I saw the Justice League trailer, I was like, this is like this indicative of the same shit I've been seeing. <laughs> but like, you, Marvel, you. Marvel knows how to make trailers that give you just enough. Just and enough. they'll edit the shit out that you, that you can't see just well, yet. Well, they'll also, I mean, the, 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 one of the first Infinity War trailers was... You know, Cap, War Machine, Falcon, Widow, Okoye, Panther, and Hulk running through the jungle. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Hulk was, he, he was only in there for like the, the first scene with, yeah. with Thor yeah, and, and Hulk. He, and he couldn't Hulk. get it up. <laughs> it's the, he couldn't. That big green dick. <laughs> that big green dick. <laughs> so you, you give credit to the trailer. For sure. For, hey, yeah. like, I give credit. I have complete faith. Complete faith. I know it's going to be a fantastic movie. I'm excited to see it. God, I, I cannot wait. It, I, I'm not worried. At all. No, God, no. I am not worried, and I'm stoked. Yes. Cool. The, this big, fat, green dick is just like rock hard, ready, just thinking about Ant-Man, it. Ant-Man, goddamn. <laughs> Alex, lying. final God thoughts? Damn. Okay, my final thought. Uh, so, uh, let me hear. So, okay, yeah, I didn't get into this, but I've completely stopped watching trailers altogether because um, <clears throat> I decided that in a world where... I enjoy being 100% oblivious to any, any plot points. <laughs> um, trailers just, it would, if they give too much away or not enough or whatever, I just feel that I enjoy a movie better if I don't know anything about it. Uh, I'm able to go into it with completely green eyes and I, I, I fucks with it. Uh, but I, I, I think that, okay, if I'm just evaluating this purely as a trailer. Just evaluate. Um, I like I 100% loved it because uh, I feel like they didn't give too much away to where I know what the fuck is going on, and I feel like that they do what Marvel does best, which DC completely misses out on. In my opinion, it's um, personal. Okay, so I I feel like in the in the last what was the last DC movie? <clears throat> Justice League. I think Justice League. Yeah. Okay, I feel like they tried to do what they were missing, which is the the interpersonal thing. So in Marvel, they, they they make the characters actual characters. They're not just superheroes. They have they're people. They it's have, not like like yeah, they, they have, have to team up people. because they, they have they have to team arcs. Up. Yeah. yeah, like if you if you look at Iron Man with you know he's he's imagine like you, when you're there you're just as someone who has loved ones you, like you just you're you're floating through space and you're you're reaching out to your loved one. You you think you're gonna die tomorrow like in. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. like that that that's that's huge. It's strong, it's heavy. Um I think that DC has been missing that and they try to they try too hard to put that in where it's like like Batman's like, I don't know, Wonder Woman, what should I do? I just don't know anymore. <laughs> Like you know, what it's mean? great Ben Affleck. I mean, that's it's, it's basically pretty spot. It's basically a, a, an exact paraphrase. It, it, he's so right. And like, um, you know how people are like, "Why do you got to keep comparing the two? Well, because bitch, they're like they're yeah. natural enemies. Like because bitch, they're <laughs> because that's because, all you need. Because DC fans are tired of being wrong. Yeah, 
And, and like and like, like and look, I'm so not a DC you, hater. I love DC, but that's what hurts my heart so much is, is that it is. I'm the, with you. Cinematically, it's not good. I'm more of a DC boy than a Marvel boy. I've always as far been, as comics, right? Dude, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell like, yeah. I, I've always been much more of a DC boy. And like the the fact that like they just can't get their the, cinematic universe right. It just pains me, you yeah. know. Marvel does it better. It's yeah. just it's that, objective yeah. at this point. I know I, st- I said I, st- I stopped saying that, but it is objectively better at this point. No, I think I'll, you're right, though. I'll tell you subjective. That I as, you know as, you yeah, talked about you're right. teaming up because they have to. There, there's no reason for Doctor Strange to lay out those steps for Peter Quill on mm-hmm. Titan. You know, yeah. there's no reason. There's no reason for Bucky to pick Rocket up and like shoot in a circle. <laughs> All they know is they're fighting for the same thing. Yeah. They team up because they have to. Yeah. It's so beautiful. If, if you if you put them in any other situation, so you know, teamwork. like Quill, <laughs> Quill and Strange are equally as egotistical as Iron Man and Strange. Yeah. Like, they there's no reason for them to work together other yeah. than the fact that they have to. Yeah. And, yeah. and so you works. you establish all of that in in the previous film. This film, you've made Tony Stark accepting of his death, mm-hmm. his his almost certain demise. We know he'll be rescued, but yeah, the we, most he's, the most he gets but he's him. ready. But he yeah he's ready. You Cap who fights with a relentless hope and optimism is now just like I don't know what's what I'll do if yeah. this doesn't work. Like they there's a, there's a great article I'll actually send you guys. Um, it's about how DC and Marvel has sw- have switched places, and now you have Shazam coming out next year. Oh, uh, looks- I'm actually really excited, I'm really excited about that. For that. Yeah, it looks it looks like Iron Man. It has like a kind of goofy, yeah. like comic book quality to it. I'm but, a superhero, but this this brooding, this darkness, this 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 sadness is what they tried to establish in Superman and Batman versus Superman at the start of their universe. Marvel has earned this. There's yeah. no doubt. That they have earned this darkness. I, I, I yeah. think it's the interpersonal, um, at, like look that you get into the characters themselves, and not just the idea of their, their, their not brand, but their their superhero. Like okay, like there's Iron Man, and then there's Tony Stark, right? And you know, like Marvel has done an amazing job, and I, I don't, I'm not a Marvel dick writer per se, but I've always loved them. But, it's like one of the outriders. But no, it's it's just it's just like you it's too much of a non superhero movie, but it is a superhero movie. If yeah. that well, makes sense. The superhero they're, they're, mo- they're like uh, superhero movies are like this is a superhero movie. We're doing superhero shit. Yeah. But Marvel is a it's a movie. And they just happen to be doing superhero shit. I'm with but there, you. There, there's so many other Elements that are like that there is chock full of there's interpersonal relationships that are happening, and there's a ton of them. It's yeah. chock full of it. The the prop my problem with DC that I've said time and time again is that you you make gods, you make these naturally powered uh, individuals try to be human. Marvel has always made humans as heroes. Yep, that's they've put them in situations where they've had to rise above themselves. Yeah. Even and Thor, go who's literally a, technically a god, a demigod, but you know he, you know, Odin even says we were born, we we age, we die. So they, it doesn't mean they're immortal. Yeah. There's there's yeah, no one there's no one on the Marvel squad that is essentially immortal. Superman, immortal. Wonder Woman, immortal. Martian Manhunter, probably immortal. Oh, for sure. No, he, yeah. he really is. Is he? Yeah, yeah. No. So then you, I mean, he's like millennial. So, old but or something. The, the other, the other thing, the, like the 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 Marvel writers say, like if you made Scarlet Witch as powerful on screen as she was in the comics, your story's over on page one. Where do you go yeah, from there? Yeah, you yeah. have to <clears throat> find ways to make them human, make them hold back to where it makes sense. And that's yeah. the issue with Marvel in general is there are so many characters that are insane. We we throw around the term OP. Marvel is chock full of. Literally, O P O fucking P yeah. characters that would you you throw them in over the movie, like that. The, the movie's over. And now you've got Captain Marvel coming into the fray, which who's means the most who's OP. the most powerful person. Okay, I got a P. And, <laughs> well, that sucks. <laughs> keep talking. Keep talking. Oh, okay. Uh, so you, it, so now you have to assume that there's like Lines an asleep. even an even bigger threat looming mm-hmm. because if she's as powerful as she is, she can just oh, punch through Thanos's chest. You better have been recording this whole time. Tell me. Tell me, 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 tell me. The Film Moral Union 2 Bumpkin Spice episode just went up on YouTube and it already has one thumbs down. Yeah, boy. Fuck yes. Yeah. That's how you do it, man. That's how we do it. 
We did it. We did it. The opposite. I wonder who that was. So final thoughts on uh, it Avengers. Was Aaron. <laughs> Infinity Man, Game. Uh, Avengers Endgame. I'm just, I, I don't know. I never thought I'd be 32 and this excited about Bless a comic you. book. Oh, yeah. Yep. Right. You know, like this is this is my childhood come to life, and I can't believe how good it's gotten. Oh my god! Right. So I'm with you. I the, and the trailer again is perfect in setting the tone and setting the stage, but not giving anything away. Oh yeah. Okay. It's the best thing that they'll do. I just gotta say, uh, I watched a show called The Goldbergs, mm-hmm. and <sighs> it's about this fool from like the '80s. He's a nerd right. and shit, and he grows up to be <clears throat> like a like whatever. But um, on this one episode, he gets super excited because uh, Empire Strikes Back's coming out. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah, he's so excited, right? And I'm like, dude, if you only knew, if you only yeah, if knew. how how knew. awesome the future would be for those no, kind of movies. If you took a nerd from 1985, right, and you dropped him in 2018, and you're like, hey, look at all these Marvel movies that have come out already. They'd be like, and look what's yet to come. Yeah, you like show them show the trailer for Endgame and be like, what? And be like, don't worry, we have 20 movies on Blu-ray and one coming in April that you can just yeah. watch. Here you go, bud. Yeah, here's, here's like, your stack. Here's yeah. your homework. Just take a second. <laughs> what do I do? Sorry, take a second. Do what? I just sit? Do I watch all of them? Is that what I do? They're excited. <laughs> they would think they died and went to heaven. Yeah, and then died again yeah. in heaven. And you know, I, I think I've said this before. It's they like went it's to crazy. Heaven's heaven it's, to mega heaven. It's crazy how, as a kid growing up, you know, reading comic books, you were a nerd and you were an outcast, and now it's so widely it, accepted. Was it, oh yeah, was yeah, it yeah. though? I, it was for me. I wonder. You, you're 32. Yeah, I'm 28. I mean, there might be a difference there, but like, I stopped reading comics for a while because I I didn't want to get made fun of. No, I, I was wonder where the where the tip off point was because I like I think I was technically well, no, I, I mean I had a weird I had a weird coming up. Um, hmm. I think I okay. I don't know about you, Justin, but I, I like I think that like growing up a nerd and an athlete at the same time when at the time when I was doing it. Uh, I, it was like I was on the cusp of like what is like now yeah. the the hipster culture like like I I don't want to say I invented it I'm just kidding I know I didn't <laughs> I'm just kidding I know rolling I, my eyes super hard at that shit I'm just kidding Robbie Jesus God <laughs> laying goddamn I'm just saying I'm just saying I invented it at the same time that everybody invented yeah, it. yeah Robbie God Jeez. damn <laughs> but no like for reals um, when I was coming up, it was cool to play fucking Zelda. It was cool to read comic books. It was cool to like Dragon Ball Z. And um, it was technically nerdy, but the people who called you nerdy, as long as you played football with them, they didn't care. Right. Mm. So I was like, I played football and I also I watched didn't. Dragon Ball Z. I mm. didn't play football. So I was just like, I was on both sides of the coin. I actually played volleyball and I think that was kind of the. Kind of, kind of them. It was probably less the comic books, more the volleyball. You know, what? volleyball is probably actually, embarrassing until you get to like <laughs> until you actually get on the court. No, it's it yeah. hard Dude, as hell. That's it's fucking fun. Yeah. I love no, it. No, it's fun. No regrets. It's it's the most fun, and it's good for getting girls. And it's like look at my glutes, especially if you you drink <laughs> and you play volleyball and you're badass at it, and you dive and you're like, oh, I gotta get the sand on me. Think about Top Gun. It's the what, sand in Top Gun. What's the most sexual scene of the whole Top Gun? It's the volleyball scene. The volleyball scene. Val Kilmer and uh, Tom Cruise hugging it out, touching it out, <laughs> hugging it out, they, they touching tips, bodying it out. They basically do this. Yeah, yeah. They clap bodies right there. <clears throat> they, they clap bodies like we did when you fell on me. <laughs> That's what happens. I remember that. I remember that story from last okay, week. Okay, long point. Short. Forgot, forgotten. Uh-huh. We're moving on. Okay. End, end game is going to gross more than Infinity War did, both opening weekend and uh, total box sad, office. Sada. Uh, sada. 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 I'm just saying. So for sure. I believe you. There's a reason why the fans were clamoring for that trailer. It's excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Fuck. I already said that. <laughs> I already said we're moving on, but I have one more. One more point. One more final thought. Oh, do you? Another another. Is final it a thought. legit final thought or? Is- okay, I just want I just want to say that like in terms of like nerdy content and fighting content, there there's this thing there's this phenomenon that happens right where uh, phenomenon at, at at some point something is so provo- provocative mm-hmm. that it, it probiocative that yeah it it, it kind of <laughs> leave it it leaves it leaves like the people that are interested in it and it it appeals to. In the entirety of 
everybody. Uh-huh. Um, and so like, I was talking about this literally yesterday. Like, like there, there's a, like, there's, there's people that fight fans know. Right. And then there's like Conor McGregor. Yeah. Who like, Chana, uh, Conor McGregor. Who everybody knows. Chuck McGregor. No, like, like, Chuck like Oscar De La Hoya. Conor, Conor McGregor. Oscar De La Hoya. People, people who know nothing about boxing yeah. in the nineties knew about Oscar De La Hoya. Yeah. Literally everybody knew about Oscar De La Hoya. Right. And I feel like Marvel is that thing. It's like people who aren't, who could care less about anything. Are cinematic. you still drinking your, your Corona? Uh, Sagan. Holy shit. Give me one too. I, get Bro, one I only have two left. <laughs> oh, I'm only drinking a six pack today. I'll buy you another one. Not really. I you drink, go to work and. You're drinking 48 ounces. Yeah, so you don't want to be drunk at work, Robbie. <laughs> I'm not going to be drunk at work. I'm gonna be drunk on the way to work. Okay, that's my point. How about, I'm making a point, but fuck it. I'm moving about, on, goddammit. How about you guys split one? Okay. Seg, go first. <laughs> All right, my man, what are you talking about today? Yeah. Are you some kind blank of. Blank smash blank. Don't host while I'm hosting. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Don't host while I'm hosting. All right, guys, well, what I'm talking about today cool. is. <laughs> Thanos, I don't even, honestly, <laughs> Thanos Alex, I don't think you you need another one. What's happening on my own podcast? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> so dis- so disrespect. So I, can't, I can't even do it. <laughs> so, too disrespectful. Much. Oh. I'm going home. I'm going home. So disrespect. So disrespect. <laughs> I'm just looking out this. for you, man. Hey. Anyways. Hey. Okay. So watch it. On that note, I was just. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this last sip. So leave him alone. <laughs> That last sip was a for freaking you, forty-two ounce, dude. I'm so proud of you. All right. So, That's anyways, so, so proud of you. So proud. So proud. So proud of you. I really want that out. What? So proud of you? For real? No. Oh. What? What was it? Okay. Well, I'll, no, find it. I'll, find, I'll find it. I'll find. I'll find the snap. Done, man. Anyways, I'm sorry, I, I really didn't mean to be disrespectful, you, no, dude. You, no, you're not. <laughs> it's okay. No, you're not. He's kidding. Don't worry. I'm so alcoholic. Okay. okay blank smash blank. Uh-huh. That, that's me. Ah, uh, wait! I should have done mine first before I got drunk. I don't know, dude. Oh yeah, it's so super, good. It's super it's drunk. Super, Alex is my favorite. Super Alex. Smash the Brothers. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so did you, you buy it? <laughs> 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 Bitch! Did I pre-order it? Oh, Bitch. so yes. What'd you get for pre- for pre-ordering it? Uh, dumb Mac, cause it's like lame. But <laughs> what was it? It's not like another playable so, character. So, so cool. No, I mean, <laughs> we should do a whole podcast like that. I, <laughs> really? I haven't really uh, explored it. Oh, I get something, but S- I don't, skin. I don't really know what it is because I, I said don't care. <sighs> S- bitch. Wait, wait, do you game at all, Robbie? I don't. Okay, so, do, S- so what? don't. So don't. I'll tell you. I said don't. Um, <laughs> I will also tell you though that uh, so TV, so Super uh, so Smash the so Brothers uh-huh. what, uh, for the so Nintendo 664. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I can't do that. I'm tripping over no, my you're doing great. You're doing, um, great. you're doing great. You're doing great. So going good. So was one of the <laughs> best uh, <laughs> so, huh? so video so games. <laughs> so, all, so time? Uh, so that so I've so ever so played. So proud. So have, you guys, have, you ever, that. have you ever got? Have you guys ever talked in like elfish or gibberish? I've talked uh, in pig Latin. Like el- uh, Well, no, el- <laughs> elfish is where you you say elf before like every vowel. So it's like not true. Rel- Ralph Abelfi oh, would be gross. would be my my mom not and true. my sister are like. Well, this is okay, not so elfish, but it's elf. Elvish, but so get it before, so right. So v. But this is this is dailyish. <laughs> So what? My ears. <laughs> so hurt. So confused. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You're uh, getting, you, you guys so, are how, so this is a uh, this is Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, right? Yes. Yeah. There you go. And Ultimate. This, it's uh. Thanks every, for helping me out. It's every character that has been playable thus far, right? Fifty ish, right? Something I think like more. That. Really? I think it's like in the seventies. How do you so how do shit. you play as Pac Man though? Sure. That's my question. Dude, Pac Man don't even play dude, about fuck Pac-Man, Pac-Man, bro. Don't even play about Pac Man. Are his you kidding mo- me? His moves are so lame. I didn't So idiot? Okay, uh so, yeah. here's what I wanna say. <laughs> it's too my, much. my main overarching point that I wanted to get out because I'm too drunk to talk about everything I wanted to talk about. <laughs> okay. 
Is that a ba 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 ba? Okay, so I was kind of worried about that. Like uh, this game wouldn't be as good because I, I thought that they were gonna like make the whole. Hey, we got all playable characters that you could ever play as. Like the biggest thing about it. Yeah, but I, dude, thought, I thought it was gonna be very gimmicky, but um, they stayed true to what makes Smash Bros. important. And I they, have, and they add they added uh-huh. to it. I, when it comes to games, I have complete faith in Nintendo, just like the MCU. I'm not worried when it comes to games. I think consoles I think is another thing. Consoles like, are iffy. The the Wii U was, in my opinion, a really big mistake. I think the GameCube was kind of. Oh, I love the game. But what too. if they made a Smash eh. Bros for a Wii U? They did. They made a. Oh, no. Uh, oh, no, no. It was Brawl. Was Sorry, it, it was ported over. Was, oh, was that Brawl, was Wii, Brawl, right? It was, uh, Brawl it was, was Wii, wasn't it? It was for Wii, and then they ported it over to, to Wii, Wii U, I think. And it was, it was fun. But like um, now with systems, totally on board because the Switch is the best system, in my opinion. Yeah, but yeah, for yeah. games, their games have consistently been of the utmost quality, basically. Like, mm. I have complete faith, just like the MCU. Like, I know yeah. anything that comes out in the MCU from, let's say, 2012 onward is going to be fantastic. Except Dark World, but neither here nor there. After Dark World? <laughs> so good. That's a good point, because um, I think, like... Okay, you know how I talk about... When people rehash things, a lot of people are like, "Oh God!" But you like it if it's, it's if won. it's good, though. Yeah, exactly, <clears throat> and, and I, I I feel like Nintendo is is a is a medium that people never hate on. Like, oh no, there's gonna be another Mario. If anything, when people when Nintendo mm-hmm. drops another system, mm-hmm. they're like, "Where's the other Mario? Yeah, where's the other Smash Bros? Because it's make a, another one, bitch. It's a wonder because it's a staple." And they're and they're always yeah. consistently entertaining. Where's yeah. the other I say that Zelda? Like, as, as not a gamer, like I don't I don't sit there and I, I or spend hours at a time yeah. playing games. But I've played uh, Mario. I think Mario Kart on the Wii. I thought was fun as shit. <clears throat> oh yeah. Um, yeah. And they made a new Mario I Kart played, for the Switch. I played Mario or uh, Smash Brothers Brawl for for the Wii too. And I thought I, yep. like there there are some games that are like Mario Party. It's it's the Mario I got the party, new Mario party the Mario, too. the Mario Kart and and the Smash Brothers and I'm just like where are they? Like yeah. I need, I would I would love to play more of those. Yeah. But I mean what what I do want to say though is that I I think that as opposed to just being pure cr- cash grab, which it could be because it's like oh this made us money in the past, we're going to do it again, just let's, rehash let's it. make more money. Yeah. yeah, they Nintendo does a fantastic 100% amazing Job and you at, can create your own character this at, time too. They, can you really? Okay. Yeah. Oh no. no. Okay. Uh, Ultimate That'd has. <laughs> so, so, well, you, it has so many different like new so features. Many. Yeah. Yeah. And, so many. And um, <laughs> okay, like being as intoxicated as I am now, I was uh-huh. playing with my wife Natalie, who is new to gaming. You were even more intoxicated when playing the game because of how great it was. It was. It don't, is. Don't throw me off, please. <laughs> Go I'm ahead. Not, no, I lost it. No, continue. You were playing. Okay, were I'm playing, playing, the I'm game playing with, with your my wife, wife and, and she's new to gaming, but she's like taking it in force and she's like really like getting into it and enjoying it. Mm-hmm. And um, I like I got a little bit emotional. I'm not gonna lie because as we're playing, so in in the new ultimate, there's like a, I don't know if it's in the trailer, but in kind of the intro scene. A bunch of master hands pop up like an army of master hands. Oh, yeah, killed me, dude! Trailer, yeah. it killed me, yeah. dude! And so then I, I was like, I was like, Natalie, in in the original, that was the main boss. The yeah. very yeah, the very yeah. first boss. Yep. And then I was like, and there's this whole thing, and, and like I started getting like a little bit emotional, and then I was like, man, like there was like maybe eight, five. I don't I don't even remember like how many playable characters there were in the original. Under but, fifteen oh, like, for sure. I think no, I thought it was sixteen. Really? In the original, no, it was less yeah. Than okay. that. It was less than that. I, mm, it was less than I, that. I'll look it up real quick. Look it up, please. Yeah, I'll be the and fact then, checker right now. Do it. So check. So do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, and and uh, there, there's a classic mode, uh-huh. and it's basically the like it kind of mimics <clears throat> how the in, original game was. Yeah. And me and Natalie are playing through it, and now you can play with another person through the classic mode. And I was like, Natalie, this was the. Oh, you're uh, right. It was eight characters. I'm sorry. I didn't mean yeah. it was eight. Sweet. And I was like, and this was the story mode yeah. of the original one. Yeah. There, there wasn't technically a story mode, but the classic you mode. You just go through the levels until you get to the, yeah. the hand. Yeah. And she was like, wait, we, we beat it already? 
And I was like, I was like, yeah, that's that's a classic mode. Yeah. And then I was like, the whole game is like you you do the classic mode with every single character, and now you beat like everything that yeah. there is to beat. Yep. And that was the whole because each one game. has a different ending. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And and the main thing was really like the fact that on the Super Nintendo you could not no Nintendo sixty four mm-hmm. you could play four with four friends, mm-hmm. and you could play. We played through the night. Yeah. Like oh I, yeah, I was, so many slumber we parties. Were, yeah, we were six years old, like sleeping over and just like playing until the next day. And my mom would be like, "What the fuck? Why are you sleeping on that? <laughs> what the fuck?" That's not what she sounds like. So mad, but, but you know what I mean. Yeah, so mash bros. That's <laughs> what I would tell her. So there were there were eight characters with four unlockable characters, so a total of twelve. Mm. Total of twelve. Yeah, under fifteen for sure. On the ridge. Yeah. And wasn't yeah. Ness like the biggest one? I loved Ness, dude, because like it, it was stupid, but it was fun because like you could use the middle uh, controller in like. If you fell off the map, then you could pick a uh, thunder, and then like it goes, yeah. yeah. And then you hit yourself in the butt, and it pushes you back up. And okay, and and which is dumb, but like at the same time, it's like and, I'm controlling and, lightning. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, this Smash Bros. The Smash Bros. has so many things that you can tell are like to please everybody. Because mm-hmm. there's like, there's like stupid shit. Like there's a there's the fucking weed trainer on there too. Oh yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And it's like, who wants to play as that? She's but like, unstoppable, dude. Yeah. Okay, and oh, dude. One thing I was like so happy, right? Because <laughs> I played Breath of Wild when it came out, and I loved it as a new Zelda title. Because mm-hmm. I've been a Zelda fan since like day one. Like origi- I'm a new Zelda fan. Original Zelda. Original Zelda. So Can't even say it because I'm the, sorry for the NES. Yes. Yeah. I love really? that one. I love yeah. that one. Yeah. Zel- like Zelda one, Zelda yeah. two, fucking Ocarina of Time, yeah. Majora's Mask, like. Like through the fucking whole gambit, the pixel except, except, of except Jumanji. Remember, I told you I, I had like a, a brief stint where I wasn't gaming at all. Yeah. So the ones in there, like uh, I think the the one with the wolf. Oh, uh, so Twilight Princess. So Twilight Princess, also Wind Waker. Uh-huh. Like like I I didn't play those ones uh-huh. at all. But Chris Delia would be proud. <laughs> I know. I ho- I hope he hears this. Yeah. But Dude. but but those I, I was never into. But okay, so I, I like I played Breath of the Wild. I was so happy. I was so happy for it. <laughs> I was gonna say, bitch, you better you better correct that. <laughs> I, I was so happy for it, right? Okay, so so, so um, Link in Smash Bros. Like just Link, mm. just flat out Link. Mm. He's more of Breath of the Wild Link. So Good. his his bomb, you know. Yeah, he has bomb, right? Um, he has the, the square the, one. Yeah, he has the remote bomb. From, oh, like, cool. He, he, pull, he pulls out the little pad <laughs> and like detonates it. Yeah. Right, but I was like, I was like, oh, that's, yeah. I was like, I was like, oh, that's really awesome. But part of me was kind of like, but that's not the link that I I grew up loving playing as as like playing yeah. Smash Bros. Right? Ah, so get over it. I did. Oh, wanna, wanna know why? Why? Because they have Young Link, which is basically Ocarina of Time Young Link, and he plays exactly like Link of old. Like they thought. Had, of, he, they thought about all the shit. His dude. bomb is like the old bomb. Yeah. And not only that, I was like, oh, so they took out Young uh, Toon Link. Wait, wait. Because Toon Link and Link were basically the exact same, Wind Waker, but, they, but they look different. Yeah. Different. No, he's also in there. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> so what? <laughs> so confused. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first time ever anybody has burped. So bless you. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, dude. Uh, yeah. Good thing his mom doesn't listen to these. She only listens to the bonus content. She only listens to the one she has to yeah. pay for. Yeah. Actually, she listened to all of them. And she was like, "Hey, I don't care anymore." Get that guy off. <laughs> so don't care. Get that I, guy I, off. I think she understands trolling. Good. She was like, "I don't care." Good. And I was like, "Ah, I know." Nah, nah, you were you there? Were you there for the one Periscope on Film Roll where we were talking about something and someone watching to the post or messaged, "Hey, the guy in the Matt. white, the guy in the white shirt is ruining my childhood." That was me. <laughs> oh no! I was wearing a plain white shirt. I was saying something about the a movie. Picture. And I, <laughs> I was, just, I was ripping Matt. it to Sit shreds, and he goes, "He goes, Matt. guy in the white shirt is ruining my childhood." Good like, thing you're that welcome. Smash Bros didn't ruin. Your no, child, it didn't, but it's it's apparently it's, it's good thing really damn better. good. And it, it, it has a ton of, it has a ton of like, it, it has all the shit that you wanted from of old, and it also did a good job of adding on top of that. Okay, okay, so okay. So like okay. the the, I guess you you could call it story mode. Like you're trying to collect spirits. So it came out and, this weekend, and, and spirits are yeah, spirits are um, you, like you can add on to and you, okay, so for any mode you can choose to play with spirits or without spirits. Spirits just kind of add on extra abilities or extra like a- attribute modifiers. Let me go ahead. Let me, let me let me just interject real quick. Right now, it has the lowest score. It has is a ninety three out of a hundred. 
Everything the lowest, else, the lowest, the lowest. Out of everything else, nine point five out of ten, nine out of ten. Uh, well, <laughs> and that's, that's, Nintendo Life gave it a ten out of ten. So corrupt. Um, US Gamer, uh, four point nine out of 10. like it's it's essentially a almost a perfect game. Did you say so, four point nine out of ten? Yeah, I'm sorry, out of five. I'm sorry. Okay, so, sorry, 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 sorry. that's way lower than us. So, my bad. No, all I got to say is that this whole time I've been trying to hash out all the details while only really wanting to end this podcast right now so I could go home and play it. <laughs> so I can go oh, home. okay. All right, fine. Fuck off then. Yeah. Oh, that would be a great... Are you serious? You want to end it right there? No, we didn't plug anything. So? 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 <laughs> okay. Do you want to? I don't know. I guess no, we, we, we got to plug him. Oh, yeah, we okay. do. You don't have to. Just put put my shit in the description. Okay. Okay. So Ro- Robert and Clark, thank you for coming out. Uh, just actually, always a pleasure, man. Dude, always yeah, it's fun. always fun. It's good to see you. It's good a see good you time, too, man. Yeah, you're you're a positive uh, uh, energy that I'm always welcome. Yeah. Well, thank you. You're thank like you. a you're like a positive predator. You know, like yeah. if someone's not being positive enough, like you yeah. prey on them, and then like you make, make them, them you you're make happy. them positive. Yeah. You're like a positive. Precker who picks a peck of pickled prexies. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, it's like if somebody's stuck in a, like you put them in a trunk or like a, a closet or something, <laughs> you'll make them be happy yeah. because if they're not happy, they'll be there longer. Because yeah. I, will, I will kidnap your kids. No, <laughs> no it, it, like if, it if they're being negative, you take your positive index finger, you insert it, and then you take it out and you smell it, and now it's positive. <laughs> I think there's a lot of things wrong with what you just said, but I'll still take it. It's just perfect. What do you mean? It's so good. <laughs> okay. Well, man, where, guys, where can we find you been, at? Uh, you can find me uh, uh, yeah. Instagram. I'm at I am Robbie Clark at so close to greatness. Soundcloud.com slash SCTG. Mm-hmm. Basically available wherever your podcasts are streamed except Spotify because they're dicks. I know. Oh, so true. Still, right? <laughs> it's, it's so, so true. Um, <laughs> Yes, yeah, so um, redundant. At I am Robbie Clark. At so close to greatness. Uh, at SCTG on. I'm still on Patreon, but I don't. No one has subscribed, so I stopped doing bonus content. It's just it's all on YouTube. Yeah, YouTube.com oh. slash because you have to have a hundred subscribers. To, you gotta keep. You gotta keep it going. Keep it going. Eventually, you'll get there. Like, well, I that's, could, hey, the four questions I said with if five people like don't like if your next five episodes are l- listened to by zero people, would you keep doing it? I keep doing four questions. They so average yeah. like three viewers a video. <laughs> the most we've had on a video is probably seven. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like yeah, nobody watches tough. us on YouTube. YouTube they listen to us. It, it really is, dude. So like, I really don't care. Yeah. I'm just happy doing it. Just do it. Yeah. Like just do it because yeah. it's fun. Yeah, you know, who gives a like it's so good vibes. So good. Yeah. So good vibes. Yeah. It's a passion project. It's a passion. You know, you just make it happen. Just do what it do. Make it do what it do, baby. Because it do what it does. You it's know? so fun. And they we don't just... think it be like it is, but it do. <laughs> <laughs>